Welcome to VF Engineering. We've got a McLaren 720S on our Mustang four-wheel drive dyno. Check it out. We've got it strapped down at the front and the rear, and we're gonna run this vehicle to redline on the four-wheel drive dyno and measure its power output. So why are we doing this? You might be asking. Well, we're gonna increase the horsepower from this V8 twin turbo to a point that takes it to sheer exhilaration. It's already a super fast car. And with our software tuning, we can recalibrate the engine management and add up to 150 horsepower more. So check it out. Let's, uh, let's get this thing running. Oh, what are you doing here? Hey, Dave, what's up? <laughs> nice to see you. You too. Uh, well, can we get on with our work now? Yeah, I, I got a little excited, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna measure the power before. Well, we've already done that. And then we're gonna tune the software and let me see you. Okay. And uh, measure the power again. Okay. Did you have any thoughts or any questions about it? Uh, I was just curious, is it gonna like make my car unreliable? Well, no, we've done a lot of software tuning and we've been doing this for about 23 years. We make supercharger systems, we calibrate all kinds of sports cars, especially the McLarens. Mm -hmm. And we take a, a kind of a conservative approach and we'll actually um, calibrate the car in a way that maintains its reliability. We try not to push it too hard. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not looking to get the most power, we're looking to get the most reliability and power as well. Mm -hmm. And so we do that by just not pushing too hard and that, that way the car doesn't create too much heat because it's heat that really is what makes the engines un or less reliable. So we'll tune for conservative power but substantial. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, another question, how do you guys exactly do an ECU tune? Like yeah, exactly. Well, ECU stands for Engine Control Unit and I've got one right here. This is what a typical ECU looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's so, cool. Yeah, that, this is actually a PC type computer where it's actually more powerful than a desktop computer. Wow. It's got a processor in there that processes calculations coming from sensors all around the car mm -hmm. and it's continually adapting and changing towards its inputs and it manages the engine's power based on what it's seeing coming in. Wow. So we'll actually go into the ECU through the connectors. We don't have to physically open it. Mm -hmm. We just connect to the socket. Uh, and we can actually read the software out of the processor, the factory software, mm -hmm. uh, and then we can go in and adjust carefully the parameters that we pre-developed and tested on our dyno. We do data logging, so we evaluate how the car runs, uh, its temperatures, its ignition timing, various metrics, mm -hmm. and then we program those changes back into that processor and plug it back in. Awesome. Uh, and then one more question. I noticed you guys ran it earlier on the dyno, and yeah. I noticed my stats were a little bit higher than a normal stock. Yeah. Car. Why, why is that? Well, yes, you've got your full sport exhaust installed already, so that's uncorked the exhaust system, oh. and that enables the engine to breathe better, and so it's making around 40 horsepower more than a standard 720, and we just saw that on the dyno, um, and the tune that we apply is going to actually help uh, or benefit from that sport exhaust system you've got, so hopefully we'll get a fantastic result. Awesome, well, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
sorry, Gigi, so we've tuned your car. We have. <laughs> How do you like the planes? It's insane. <laughs> like, insane. <laughs> It's going to be fun to hear your feedback from the driver. I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> so we've got here um, the Green Curves horsepower and torque. That's a bone stock 720. Um, and the red lines are the tuned, including your sport exhaust system. And the car is made between 70 and 100 horsepower at all four wheels throughout the entire RPM range. So that's equivalent to around about 130 horsepower at the flywheel. And for torque, you can see a substantial gain as well, all the way through the RPM range. It's made approximately 70 to 110 pounds of torque at all four wheels, which is around about 140 pounds of torque. So overall, your car has gained 135 horsepower and 140 pounds of torque over a stock 720 on 91 Octane. That's pretty substantial. Um, it's a pretty conservative calibration. We're not pushing the car too hard in the sense that we like to maintain a safe ignition timing range and for it not to build up too much heat. So you're going to get as much fun and reproducible power. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. There we go. All tuned and ready to go. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs>